Hello everybody, my name is Flavio Turquette and I am a UTD instructor trainer. Welcome to my video tutorial titled First Step Inside the Ogartian Configuration How to Manage the Long Hose. This video, like the previous ones, wants to teach my future course students, along with divers who simply are aware of the benefits of this configuration, how to manage this extraordinary tool in the right way. Above all, in this video, we will see three simple rules on how to create a proficient muscle memory to manage the long hose in the best way. The long hose, along with the primary second stage regulator, can be considered the fulcrum around which the Ogartian configuration and the old DRR training rotates. The main concept is to breathe from the primary second stage regulator on the long hose, the same one that is donated in an out of gas situation, providing a functioning gas supply to the rescue diver. If this is an indisputable advantage, nonetheless we have to consider the potential risk related to a bad management, management of the long hose. First of all, we have to consider that the length of the hose from 150 to 110 centimeters, based on the height of the diver, represent a potential risk of entanglement if not correctly stowed. For this reason, the student, the diver, has to learn some simpler rules on which I deeply insist on during my basic course. The first rule says, on the ring if nothing mouth. If the primary second stage regulator is not in your mouth, yet you to be clear on the D-ring. In every situation, inside or outside the water, if you are not breathing from the long hose, you have to clip it on the right shoulder D-ring. So after a donation, in an out-of-gas scenario, the out-of-gas diver has to clip on his long hose. In the same way, after a gas switch or a failure on the right post in a double configuration, or simply when you come up to the surface, the long hose needs to be clipped on. The second rule says, second stays close to your little finger. In every situation in which you have to manage the long hose, the second stage has to be positioned on the side of your little finger. This simple rule made to create the right muscle memory to manage the long hose ensures that the long hose is in the right place when you have to donate, when you have to create a loop to reposition it over your neck, or simply when you need to clip it on the right shoulder during. If you follow this rule, you will avoid having to attempt to manipulate and turn the hose many times and certainly you will avoid embarrassing situations when you get in reading outside of the water. Third rule says, set up everything starting from the ball snap. When you are going to set up your regulator on the tank, you have to start by clipping the ball snap of the long hose on the right shoulder ring then the SPG post snap and then you can mount the first stage. Especially with the recreational diver that are using octopus and are busy in setting up the first stage on the tank, it's very common to see them let the second stage fall on the ground. This habit is very bad for the life of the regulator for sure, but above all a symptom of negligence and inefficiency. It's sufficient, firstly, to get close to the equipment, to secure the second stage of the long hose, secondly, to position the SPG, and finally, you can tighten the first stage on the tank. Everything will be nice and clean. I hope you, who maybe are moving your first steps in this amazing world, enjoyed this video blog, and I hope to see you soon.